Hello Art Hobbers, it's that time of the week. It's your weekly fix of Art Home Learning this week. We're going to be a bit seasonal. We're thinking just in time for Halloween creeping around the corner. All about cats. Now cats for millennia have inspired and captivated the hearts and imaginations of many people. Uh, mighty kings, queens, politicians, writers, artists, uh, including Andy Warhol, who's an American artist. You might know him for his screen printing, where he was really um, taken with the idea of mimicking old-fashioned printing techniques and making multiple copies of everyday familiar things. Here's a few examples of Andy Warhol's artwork. The colour never quite fits exactly inside the black outline, as you see, and he made hundreds of images in this way. Shoes, food, and his beloved cats. Andy Warhol grew up surrounded by cats. Interesting fact, every single one of them was called Sam, except one that was called Hester. He even made a colouring book about them, called 25 cats named Sam and one blue pussy. I'm going to show you a mono printing technique. That's a way of drawing um, using ink. And I'm going to be doing today Indian ink that transfers the image from one surface to another. Mono print means to make one mono, one print of an existing drawing. And another word for this is an ink blotting drawing. And Andy Warhol used this technique to make many, many drawings. What you're gonna need for this are two different kinds of paper. This is really important. One should be absorbent, and that's your regular printer paper or cartridge paper, absorbent sugar paper. And the other should be non-absorbent, so doesn't like to soak up liquid. Tracing paper, a grease proof paper, is very good for this. You're also going to need a um, stick or a brush to apply your ink. You're going to need ink, coloured inks or watercolour. I'm going to show you how I would approach drawing a cat that I would love to have. Let's take a look. So to begin, I've got my tracing paper, not absorbent, means it doesn't soak in liquid on this side. My left hand side and I've joined that using sellotape to my absorbent paper, printer paper, cartridge paper, sugar paper. The reason I've made a join, a bit like a book here, is so that when I have applied the ink in small stages to my pencil drawing, I can easily fold, press, rub, and lift, well, this is called pulling the print, without the pages moving around the desk independently. I've got more control that way when I sellotape them together like a book. I'm using Classmates black drawing ink and I've applied it into a yogurt lid, a really good wee um, recyclable receptacle this. And the important thing is to use the ink stick or the brush I'm using here to draw small parts of your pencil line at a time. Small parts at a time. The reason it's a good idea to go slowly bit by bit is so that you can really track and control how the ink is absorbing and transferring onto the next page. So I'm just starting with the ears here. You can see that it's transferred okay, it's a bit blobby. And I'm continuing on. Every time you close your two pages together over like a book, you wanna press firmly, but not squish the ink so it blobs out. Of course, you see this cat has ended up with a bit of a pirate eye here, but um, I think that gives him a little bit of character. He's quite grumpy looking, isn't he? And then I can always do a colour wash over the top as I'm doing with my watercolours here. Nice big broad brush 
um, like Warhol, it's just one block color wash. Moving quite quickly and not worrying about staying inside the lines. It's quite cool actually, I think, if you bleed over. Give this cat a pop of color. Art Hub Pink Purple. What do you think of that? Let's make some wacky Halloween cats.